Hello public, today we are going to discuss about the book which is written by Vikram Sood, a former chief of India's premier intelligence agency, the Research and Analysis Wing. A former war chief insights into espionage for the general public, intelligence, foreign policy experts and professionals who wish to understand the working of a secret agency. In this book, a Vikram uh, Sood talks about the various aspects of intelligence gathering foreign policy making and what the future holds for this clandestine organization. Sud has divided his book into three parts. Each part focuses on a separate chapter, starting with organization of the agency, the working of the agency and what, what the future holds for the intelligence community with the advent of the latest technology. Part 1 of the book is Tradecraft. In this part, Mr. Sud focuses on what to do and what not to do as an intelligence and foreign office professional. The tradecraft of intelligence depends upon a combination of human intelligence and technical intelligence, while keeping other kinds of intelligence in mind. Sud emphasizes that no matter how good our technology gets, the human factor can never be surpassed. Moreover, Vikram Sud ends the first part by dividing deep into the Asian playing fields, the spy games played in Asia, specifically in Southeast Asia, by taking examples from the Indo Pak Wars of 1965 and 1971. The authors talk about the importance of a credible intelligence apparatus for a country, whether it be the battlefield or the diplomatic playground. Part 2 Inside Intelligence in the second part of the unending game, Vikram Sud discusses the inside workings of a successful intelligence agency. He notes that it would need a strong hierarchy and a business rules to operate more successfully. While taking interesting examples from the Cold War, Sud talks about the importance of surveillance. Secondly, he discusses the divergence tactics that are played by top spies. The smoke and mirror strategy keeps the enemy confused which leads to gaining an upper hand either on the diplomatic front or the battle front eye. The author also talks about the sinister triangle that exists between a terrorist, a criminal and a spy, how these three are interlinked in achieving a convert objective. In the end of the second part of his book, Vikram Sud takes a deep dive into the importance of deceptions and propaganda operations, also known as psychological operations. He emphasized that need for an intelligence organization to rally the general audience in its favor. This can be done in a number of ways that he has discussed in detail in the chapter Controlling the Narrative. Part 3 What Lies Ahead while discussing the advent of the latest technologies, Vikram Su talks about how pivotal it is to invest in the most crafty and contemporary assets when it comes to technology. Citing an example from the cyber attacks on Iran Natan's nuclear facility, the former Raj chief emphasized the technical aspects of the modern intelligence apparatus for a country. Furthermore, Su says that for an intelligence officer, it is important to learn to live with failure because in this critical business of secrecy and power one must always be prepared to live with a failed mission one thing that is perhaps even more pivotal is to learn from these failures and grow on them all while keeping the intelligence relevant and operative a handler or an officer must carry on with his her objectives